one of Project WRX. We're moving the car over to the other driveway and we're going to start taking out the engine right now. Is that JDM right there? So race car. <clears throat> How do you put it down? Oh shit. JDM, yo. And like it kind of sounds healthy, but it kind of doesn't sound. Yeah, it's healthy. definitely not healthy. What? I can't stand this. Does it feel like shit? Way too stiff. It's interesting how loud this car is, and it has a smaller turbo than mine, but I've heard that smaller turbos, you hear more turbo whistle. If, for whatever reason, I guess that makes sense. Because like, you can hear so much turbo on this car compared to mine. I think this is an 18G and I have a 20G, or this is a 16. I kind of forgot. brought the wagon here because the Hawkeye is still not running because I don't have my power steering pump yet but I've always saved up enough money to get a new power steering pump wow it's pretty loud because I'm pretty sure power steering pumps for Subarus the last time I checked were like $500 unless I'm losing it but I'm pretty sure it's like $500 for a new power steering pump which kind of sucks but I'm almost there So this is the last time for a while you will see this Subaru looking like this. The goals for today is gonna be at least battery out, drain everything, being oil, which is gonna probably look pretty interesting. Also radiator, take the radiator out. Also anything on the top really. Disconnect fuel lines, probably take out uh, the top mount intercooler, probably take out a few things that need to get out of the way, intake and stuff like that. I'm going to get as far as I can, but as you guys can tell, eh, <clears throat> I am still very sick. Also, Mike is pretty sick, so I'm probably going to be doing a lot of this stuff by myself for a little bit, but it's okay. I'm just trying to make a dent in today's video, and uh, I think we're going to get pretty far, so I'm pretty stoked. Oil draining right now, so it is confirmed. He has everything killer B under here, the baffle, the pan, and the pickup. So, as you can see, oil looks pretty gross, not going to lie. It looks kind of clean, but... As you can see from his magnetic drain plug, it's literally like a paste on it. So much metal, it's like gooey. That's disgusting. Dude, that's an expensive plug. It, what is this, Gretty? Yeah. It's probably 20 bucks. Look at that. Can, can we, can we even, can we see what's going on? That is bad. Wow. Gnarly. Anyway, that's all metal. So we're going in, draining this, about to drain the coolant as well, and uh, start ripping some stuff you know out. This oil pan has a uh, an NPT fitting on the side. Does it really? Yeah, it's got a half inch NPT for like a pressure gauge or like temp. I don't know what you. I mean, that's a pretty big plug. That'd be had to be for some kind of return of some sort or a feed or something. Interesting. It's pretty cool though. It's nice that they did that. Turtle face right there. Dude, no, it's actually ninja. Oh, that's like. All of my shit, bro. Okay, we need to get that cleaned. We yeah, we should probably clean that. That is disgusting. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, I'm gonna have to get in there. I'm gonna have to get in there. I'm trying to go gentle. It's either on or off. Oh, oh, dude, I think I got it. You got it. There you go. It's pretty solid. Well, we also found that on the drain for the coolant this is going to be a interesting project is this sand what is that bro leak stop jesus oh dude you need to relax bro it's not on purpose <laughs> protect your race car driveway protect your race car and your driveway Intercooler's coming off? What do we need, this? Yeah. Pull that. Just squeeze it, twist if you can. Did he tape this thing on? Hold on. Hold the phone. <laughs> Hold the phone. Like this. 
Go. Uh, it's just a little bit stuck to the. There we go. Go. Yep. Okay. That is the weirdest setup I have seen. Yeah, let's add 200 degree bends to our fucking input. What the? F Instead of. Oh, he has a pit stop mount too. That's pretty cool. Haven't seen that one. What is that one? Anyway. This is a super interesting setup because typically Subarus will have like a wide pipe. Like Grim Speed makes like a wide pipe, but this I've I've never seen something like that. Have you? Yeah, this big ass hose. It's the only way to go. What the fuck? Uh, it's kind of random on the side. Oh, it's it, a beat rush. Is it? Yeah. That's kind of cool. gnarly. It looks pretty cool. We're gonna be finding all the goodies. Jeez. This is the part that I'm missing, dude. Dude, <laughs> wait, you remember that I couldn't find like my bell housing bolts. And then yeah, I, I was, was there, in, I remember. It was, it was in like my lunchbox or something, like what? Yeah, dude, it was in your Do backpack you from like a month ago. Dude, that was horrible. Yeah, that was stupid. Anyway, okay. Continue to go. You wanna put that plug back in so that the radiator doesn't keep leaking? Uh, yeah. Okay. I'm gonna need like an A. We just need to get upper radiator hose off. Low radiator hose, and then huh. we're already cruising. Hello. Good morning. There oh, she goes. Man. There she goes. What the fuck? I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> See, I. We still don't know the shop. We're not gonna hate it. We are hating on but we're not gonna name the shop that did this. <coughs> so we're just gonna fix it, you know? That's all we can do. Oh, is it recording right now? It's fully recording now. <laughs> Bro, you're so sick. Okay, we're both we're both seriously on the edge. But uh, as we can see, we've only been on it for like 10 minutes. 10 minutes, like, no, like legit. Radiator's out, battery's out, intercooler's off. That is probably the most interesting thing that I have seen as far as top mount intercoolers go. I think I'm sticking with a Y pipe. Don't know how I feel about that. And then there's a few things that we're definitely gonna have to fix on this thing, like the power steering. That's not even any we're gonna flush that. in any any sort of red color. It's pretty gross. And uh, we're starting to find some interesting things. Like ooh, he colored that. That's now like a bronze color. Found like a beet rush. I actually probably kind of interested in that. That thing looks pretty cool. <laughs> anyway, we're gonna keep it going. Try to get this thing out. As you can see, work is being put in. Uh, once we're kind of finished up at this section, I will explain what you actually need to do to get this Subaru engine out. It's honestly just a few things to get out of the way to do it, but just a quick overview. We had to get AC out, because it's in the way. We're gonna keep this connected. That's what we did on my car. Um, but as far as all the accessories, all the other ones, alternator did have to come out so we could access all this stuff. Uh, took off the belts, but the power steering pump can stay. We could disassemble all this stuff when it's on the engine stand. But basically, the last things that we need to do is probably to, do we have to take off starter. No. Yeah. yeah. Starters off. Heater hoses off. Downpipe off. Turbo is obviously going to say, but pretty much everything else is good to go. Obviously, radiator needed to come out. The fans go with it. Uh, the lower hose need to come off. The upper hose need to come off. Power steering line needs to come off. It's pretty obvious once you get in it, if that makes sense. Once you start looking around, you have to see, oh, obviously this needs to come out of the way for the engine to come out. Um, the one thing that's interesting about this car in particular is <clears throat> it actually has a parallel fuel system setup from Aero Automotive, that's what it's called? Uh, Aero Automotive? Aeromotive is what it's called. Just a regulator. Just a regulator. I don't know who did the lines. Um, it's just a... It's just a kit, I'm pretty sure. Um, you can see the T right here. Oh, okay. It's kind of buried. It's in there. You can kind of see this line goes down here to a T, and then it obviously just tees out to both of the right. <coughs> both so of the your, rails. Your feed line here will supply this one. Goes down underneath, separates, goes to your rails. Then each rail will feed back into the regulator. Regulator then feeds back to your return just like that that's see I didn't know that but it makes sense now he's teaching me some stuff and uh, I'm getting pretty stoked everyone just saw that oh and my camera's fogging out damn it <laughs> dude I think we're dying 
<laughs> we weren't we weren't going to work on the car today, but uh, it's my fault. It's my fault working on the car. It's okay. I did it for YouTube. I did it for YouTube, damn it. I did it for the tube. I did it for the tube. We're pretty much coming to like a part where we're probably going to stop pretty soon because we're not pulling the engine today. Uh, we don't have a cherry picker. We don't have an engine stand. I'm gonna bring the engine stand. He's gonna get the cherry picker. Not sure what day yet, but we're do we got we got some pretty good work done today. Yeah, we're almost we, there. Yeah, we we're pretty much almost there to get ready to take it out. It is very cold. We are done for today. I'm gonna go home and then talk to you guys when I get there. So, I made it back home. As I said earlier in the video, I am very sick. <coughs> I probably sound like I'm faking it, but <coughs> okay, that you could tell I was getting. But before I end today's video, I would like to give a shout out to today's sponsor. Now, like I said before, the boys over at car gazette always hooking it up every single month and uh, we actually talk pretty frequently on instagram giving them some input on some designs and stuff they're always hooking it up so of course i always got to give them a shout out this shirt right here is the s13 pretty clean the boy steven said he wanted this shirt so i'm probably gonna end up having him rock this one and uh, there was also made another shirt which <clears throat> they're switching up the designs which i'm pretty uh, down on because uh, they're adding some floral stuff and it's looking more like streetwear. So I actually already rocked this shirt uh, a couple times and uh, it's currently in the wash. So there was another black shirt with this design on it, which is probably my personal favorite. And uh, they're always hooking it up with, like I said, with Chemical Guys stuff. Also a couple stickers, air freshener, pretty clean poster as well. And then of course, microfiber and a tool. Like I said, every single month they're sending some stuff out. So of course I always wanna give them a shout out. For those of you guys who don't know uh, who these guys are, it's a company that has a subscription box. There's multiple levels, like I said, in all of them. Uh, this is the premium one, so of course it comes with the most stuff. I believe there's two other levels, uh, like the intermediate and then of course the basic. I would recommend getting the best one because obviously you get the most stuff. And uh, it's pretty legit every single month. I'm always surprised by the stuff that they throw in. And uh, I actually always use this stuff and I have a whole stack of their shirts um, that I rock while I'm working on cars. So, it's always super legit, so of course I always love to show them some love as well. <clears throat> now as far as the Subaru build going, I'm pretty stoked with the progress that we made today. And in the next video, we're going to be ripping the engine out. We are literally only have to do like bell housing bolts, the starter, <clears throat> uh, finish a couple of things for the plumbing for the air oil separator, which I will show you guys how to do. Um, it was kind of hard to film today because it was super cold. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. <clears throat> And me and Mike are sick, so hopefully we will be a little bit better after we rest up a little bit. I know on Friday, uh, there's a couple different things that I have planned for a video, so I'm pretty stoked on that. Hope you guys are enjoying all the content coming your way. More stuff definitely coming in the near future. I hope you guys enjoyed this video as always. Make sure to hit either video that's popping up right here below me, and also hit the subscribe button as well, which should be either left or right. I forgot what one I put it at. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed it as always. I'm gonna catch you guys on the next one. Peace out.